Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I am lucky to be one of the very first people on the planet to get to review the new Logitech G PowerPlay. It's inside this box. Now this is a reviewer only box because I have a prototype that is literally just for reviewers only because this product hasn't come out yet. But I'll go ahead and open it up and show you what we're talking about today. This is a mouse pad that wirelessly recharges your mouse while you play on it. So you literally never have to recharge your wireless mouse again and it's just as fast or faster than a USB connection. Now I do want to make very clear that I am sponsored by Logitech G. They are the newest sponsor on this channel so thank you guys for that. I appreciate it and I have my FTC text disclosure up here as well. However, I have complete free reign of the review and to talk about the product. This is unusual to say the least. So what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to go ahead and take off the layers on top. Uh, it essentially comes with two mice pads so you can choose either soft or hard but that's not really the juicy part. The juicy part is down here. It's a sort of rubbery material on the bottom that's relatively flexible but not too flexible. And if you look very close, it's going to be difficult to get it uh, with the light reflection. There is an outline of an electrical circuit that's running all throughout this entire mouse pad. And what that electrical circuit does is uses, if I get this phrase right, electromagnetic inductive current? No, and electro, it's Schussmann fields. It's Okay, I'm an engineer, but to be honest with you, magnetism and electri ele uh, electrical systems were my weak part, but it operates on the basis that there is an electric coil, a metallic coil, inside these mice, and when it is near or moving on top of this field, the small magnetic field will use an inductive current in the magnetic coil to recharge the mice, and I know that's incredibly complicated, but I'm telling you, as crazy as that sound, it actually works. Basically, all you do is instead of plugging your mouse into your computer, you will use the included USB cable to plug your mouse pad in. Now, if we flip this around on the top side, and I have to do this backwards since I'm doing it uh, from a review standpoint, you'll see that we have a nice little USB mini, but with the proprietary hooks. All you would do is plug it in, if I, doing it backwards right there, and you would plug the other end into your computer. So, once you have your mouse pad hooked up to your computer, this will generate a very small electromagnetic field. And really the juice, the, the, the neat part behind this technology is that the field is essentially one or two nanometers above this particular mouse pad, or almost exactly the thickness of the mice pad that you would put on top. Now these are the traditional mouse pads. These are like the normal ones that Logitech sells, both the hard one and the soft one. I prefer the soft one. So you would put that down on top and then you can choose one of these two mice. I believe this is the G903 and G703 respectively and you could just play with them indefinitely. The mouse would never lose charge. It would never discharge. The mouse won't drain. It won't lag. It won't crash. It won't lose connection. You never have to plug it in via USB. It's just completely good to go. And I want to show you how that works. So on the bottom, Logitech mice have this G key, or all of the wireless ones do. And you can push this G in. We can move in a little close so you can see what I've got going on. You can push in the G and pop it out, and we've got this space. Now, for the longest time, this space was traditionally... Where is that nice little weight at? Ah, must be in this mice. I've been playing with both of them, right? Ah, so traditionally they would have a little five gram weight, I dropped it, <laughs> which is just a piece of metal. Because without this five gram weight, your mice are like really light. They have a sort of cheap feeling to them because we associate light plastics with cheapness. So what you would do is put it in here and then drop it in and it would add a little bit of weight to your product. But what Logitech has done is the coil part of this whole system comes in this tiny little package, which I'm gonna go ahead and lift out of its packaging, because you have to have a coil for the electromagnetic field to interact with in order for it to charge. Now this tiny little wafer with the G on it right here inside is a very densely packed uh, metal coil. And when it moves over the magnetic field, it charges, but they've been planning this for a long time. You'll notice that these are the exact same size. They're actually magnetically attracted to each other, which is kind of neat. So you would take this and you would put it on your mouse. Now, of course, you're good to turn it on. Now, we don't have power here, so it won't do anything. I haven't plugged it in. And then you would be completely good to go. Your little wafer coil 
floats over the magnetic field, which is very tiny, and infinitely charges your mouse. It's very easy to set up, very easy to install. I'm going to go ahead and show you how that works. All right, so I've got an old laptop that I dug up and I just freshly installed the Logitech software on it. This particular laptop has literally never had a Logitech device plugged into it, much less this uh, black magic tool, as I will describe it. So I'm gonna take the USB cable, just runs on USB 2, and I'm gonna plug it into the side, and we're gonna see how long it takes to set up. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> that, was, uh, that was pretty quick. It's already detected the mouse, which, you know what would be smart? If I actually turn that on, I guess it's not necessary, and it's already working, look at that. I just click this, I can set up the lighting and stuff on the power play, set up the charge. I can go to the mouse, I can already start customizing sensitivities and other things. And I have been using this for a little bit less than a week, and so far it hasn't flubbed up on me. When I installed it on my big PC upstairs, I had it lose connection once when I was booting it, like when I first plugged it in it had to install the drivers. And that was it, really it hasn't done anything since then that's bad, it even shows you the battery level which somehow is way higher than when I got it. I got it in the mail, so my battery level was like 20%. It's actually increased in charge, even though this particular mouse has never been plugged into a computer or to a PC or through a charging cable or anything because the mat itself charges it. And honestly, the whole point of this review, beyond all the science and everything else, is just for me to get across that this technology actually works. I think that's Logitech's biggest problem is with the skepticism on a wireless charging system. They, they fought the skepticism on a wireless mouse, which I'll talk about in a second, but the wireless charging system needs to work as well. And by God, it works. It works when you don't move the mouse. It works when you do move the mouse. I have used it for, like I said, a little bit under a week and everything with the single thing I've done has just increased the charge and there's been no issues with it, which I think is a very good thing. Now, the next question you wanna ask me is why would you even use a wireless mouse to begin with? Probably would work if I unplugged it like that. <laughs> if you could easily run a wired mouse. Some people don't have the space for it. Some people like the wireless mice. In my particular case, I have a lot of junk around my desk, a lot more wires, a lot more on the back end that you never actually see. I've gone, I've gone ahead and pre-filmed it, so I'm gonna layer that on top. And sometimes when I move my mouse, the top of the mouse pad, like where it actually connects, will sort of drag and wobble and have connection issues. Or sometimes I'll get it caught on something and cause it to turn the mouse. And I do admit that the wireless mouse is more comfortable. And because your receiver is right here, and look how far apart your receiver is right there, there is essentially zero delay here. Information is transmitting just below the speed of light. It's Really, we're talking speed of light here. You're not gonna have, you'll never be able to perceive that. It's fractions of a frame, so I wouldn't worry about it at all. And generally speaking, it just works. So in short, I do like this product, and even though I am sponsored by Logitech, I do wanna talk about its downsides because they are, there are actual downsides to running the product. Number one is that the mouse pad itself is $100, and then you need one of these mice to go along with it. Uh, we have the G, I think this is the 903, and this is the 703. You would think that the nice, fancy, like beautiful one is better, but personally, I don't like it. It's a personal form factor thing. I much prefer this scroll wheel. I don't like the way that this scroll wheel rolls. I don't like the feel of it and the space right there. I actually prefer the less expensive mouse, and as of now, there's only these two that are compatible. I'm sure that many more will be compatible in the future, but now you have to choose between one or the other. I'm gonna go with the much simpler mouse here at home. The other downside is that your mouse pad area is limited to this big for now. If you see that is just, it's one standard size and that's it because this is the first of its kind. There may be bigger or smaller ones in the future, but if you don't have this much space, you're going to need that much space. If some of you like the much bigger mouse pads, well, good luck basically because <laughs> you need to keep it on the pad. You can actually pick it up off the pad and move it really far away and it'll still work, it'll still mouse input to the computer, it just won't charge over there. So it's, it's a new thing and because it's so new there are some limitations and it costs $100 just to get started on. That's pretty standard for new technology but the heart of this review is not that the mouse pad's a little small or that I can only have two mice or that I don't wanna pay for it. It's that it's brand new technology. I've never seen this type of technology. Well, I, have ta I take that back. I have seen this type of technology used in other products before, but generally speaking, they're not very functional. They're very 
shaky, wobbly, they don't charge right. This is probably the first time I've seen this particular type of technology used right on something that's functional and nice and good. And I think that this has a lot of potential in the future. There is a discount link down there in the description should you choose to pre-purchase this because it's not out yet. And you can use code DRFT, Drift, for 5% off if you want to. Link down there below in the description. But I think it's cool, and I think if you don't want to worry about charging your mouse pad, and if you don't want to worry with cables or anything else, and if you want this nice piece of technology in your house, that it's well worth the price because... For me, at least, it's been very reliable. Guys, that's all for this review. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.